Another Hornets lost. I thought they were about to win. Jalen McDaniels. Ooh, baby, looking like his brother, Jaden McDaniels. They're both beasts. Let's get into it. Steve Clifford told the Charlotte Hornets, ignore all the outside noise. Ignore it. Gordon Hayward, you're a good basketball player. We brought you in to be a 20-point scorer, and that's what you are. I mean, the injuries haven't set in, but maybe that hillbilly haircut of his... What is it, the slasher? Is that what they call it? I forgot what it is, but... He's got like that Theo Vaughn eastbound and down haircut, like Danny McBride style. He literally looks like he should be a pitcher on eastbound and down. <laughs> oh yeah, at least he's fitting the Myrtle Beach vibe. But Gordon Hayward is coming up to play. This Steve Clifford relet team came to play. They said, Miles Bridges, we don't know what's up with you. James Booknight, you're falling asleep eating Doritos, man. Lamelo's out with injury, and we need to show that Lamelo we're ready to play when he comes back, and that's what they're doing. First off, Nick Richards, why aren't you starting yet? I mean, I love the Mason. First off, you guys know if you've been watching my channel, my girlfriend's favorite basketball player is Mason Plumley, and my girlfriend's happy Mason Plumley's out here. Mason Plumley's also passing the rock out the elbow like he's Nikola Jokic out there. And Dennis Smith Jr., he's been phenomenal. Basically had a double-double tonight, and he's been playing defense, passing the rock. This guy, was he has nothing to lose. He says, if I'm not making it in basketball, I ain't going overseas. I'm making it to the league, the NFL, if the NBA don't want me. And I said in one of my preseason previews for this team that Kelly Oubre would be one of the guys that would take up that scoring opportunity that Miles Bridges will be opening with his absence. And he has done so. Exactly what I thought. People forgot Kelly Oubre was basically just outside the lottery pick. And he is a guy that is a scorer. A guy who has, if you look at his per 36 and in short run, has been a top you know, 17, 18, 19 point scorer. Like near there. And even his per 36 over 20 points. Good baller. And even James Booknight looking like that. You know, the humiliation from what happened to him has really made him work. I know he's had some hit or miss games, but there's some nights where he's cooking and it's fun. And you know who's another guy? Teo Maladon. Teo Maladon. I said he would be a great pickup for them as a two-way player. I also, is Kai Jones a bust? Because they're playing JT Thor more than Kai Jones. Somebody let me know what's up with Kai Jones. I'd like to hear your thoughts. And PJ Washington, two-way player going coast to coast, both sides of the court, super fun talented player showing that he has a three-point shot can grab rebounds guard multiple positions handle the rock in his hand i love pj washington okay and tail him out on i really do believe he's the guy that should be getting more time more minutes he's incredibly fun to watch and really this is a team that dennis smith jr tail him out on lamella ball terry rozier could truly in james book night could be their guard rotation and i really like it because right now they kind of they have the wing rotation martin Hayward, I know Martin didn't play tonight. JT Thor, all right, and I do, I, I really do believe that this is a good squad that's being not like, not like gonna sit here and be like, they're goddamn good. Okay, don't overlook the Charlotte Hornets. They're contenders. No, that's not at all what I believe. Okay, that'd be a lie. And what I, what I truly believe is that the fact that that this is a team that can go down the road and play good defense in make teams have to really grind out wins and easily i mean they could make the third third year in a row of the play-in which i guess it's not an improvement but it's not a, a regression if you want to say simple mathematics and the fact that they won they were able to play this game and push the knicks is incredible i mean they were shooting amazing both teams didn't really take as many threes you would think a modern nba team would take and i think the real thing was i know if they keep the turnovers down that'd be nice but they're a pretty decent team that moves the ball around a lot and i i just think they're just being overlooked okay so for me it's pretty crazy if you look over the past few games it's like Ubre and nick richards led them to a win over the hawks okay then they had that other game where i believe it was the spurs which was just the spurs okay they they should win that game and 
I don't know. I think Charlotte's Charlotte's not a bad team. Team that could be overlooked. So peace out. I love you guys. Like and subscribe, comment, do all that good jazz. I'm a peace out, A Town style. So goodbye, everybody. I got to go.